memorization, one of the most important skills a performer needs. Whether it's for those quick self-tapes, for in-person auditions, or even for shooting videos for social media. Knowing how to memorize lines fast and knowing how to make them stick is essential. In this video, you are in for such a treat. I'm bringing in memorization pro Joyce Shea, who is going to give you three memorization quick fixes that you can use for your next audition. Let's do this. So a little bit about Joyce before we dive right in. She is a trained actress. She has a BFA from the theater school at DePaul University, and she is a Jeopardy champion but not just a one day champion, a three day Jeopardy champion. Yeah, Joyce knows a thing or two about memorization. And the amazing thing that Joyce has been able to do is she's been able to combine her knowledge of acting and her knowledge of memorization and learning to help actors memorize lines quickly and make them stick, which can give you so much more freedom and confidence in your auditions. So now you know who Joyce is, let's dive right in. Welcome Joyce, let's dive right in with those three line memorization quick fixes. I'll let you take it away with tip number one. So my first tip is to not always practice your lines from the beginning of the scene to the end. So most actors, when they're practicing their lines, they start from the top of the scene. They try to get as far as they can. And often if they mess up somewhere in the middle, they start over from the beginning of the scene again. And so they keep doing that over and over. And what happens is, of course, you end up knowing the beginning of the scene really well, but the middle and the ending, they tend to be more weak. So my advice is to actually practice starting at different points in the scene. You know, sometimes start in the middle or two thirds of the way through or start at the end. You can even start at the end and go backwards if you want to try that. That can be kind of fun. Um, a great thing to do is to actually hyper target the specific spots you're having trouble with in the scene. So you're giving the most time and attention to the spots that are giving you the biggest headache. I love that so much because I know, <laughs> I know years ago when I was an actor, I did the same thing, but also this, I feel like probably a lot of the things we're going to talk about today can apply to if you're making YouTube videos or social media videos, because I do yeah. that same thing. I've spent a lot of time in the beginning. And then as I go along, I go, Ooh, I don't know this as well. So I'm going yeah, to yeah. this tip as well. Awesome. I love that. So awesome, don't yeah. always practice your lines from top to bottom. Right. That. Of course, you want to do a little bit of it top to bottom, because of course you need to know what order it needs to come in. But of course it's good to, you know, mix it up. Yeah. I love that. So what, what is tip number two? So my second tip is to actually take more frequent breaks. And I know this is super counterintuitive because most of the time we get this message that the more hours we put in, the more we just repeat the lines over and over again, the better our recall of the lines will be. But that's actually not quite true. So the truth is focused work and strategic breaks are two parts of the learning process. So taking strategic breaks can actually enhance learning. So my advice is to actually alternate between a session of practicing your lines and then a short break. So this isn't an excuse to be lazy or to go off and like binge watch something for hours on end. This is about being strategic, where you, you do a session of, uh, of memorizing your lines. You can maybe set a timer for 10 or 15 minutes, take a little break, and then come back and do another session, and then take another little break, and then come back again. So you're kind of alternating between those two things, focused work and strategic breaks. And actually uh, doing that can actually enhance creativity as well. Um, studies have shown that doing that can enhance uh, creative breakthroughs. Awesome. So you might just have a better audition anyways. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I yeah. It. I love it. All right. So what is the third tip to help actors get a little better with their memorization of lines? So my third tip is to actually practice your lines in the same environment or circumstances as your audition or performance. 
So I see a lot of actors run into this problem a lot where they'll practice their lines, they'll learn their lines while they're sitting down and relaxing. You know, maybe they're having a cup of coffee on the couch or something, and they think that they know their lines. They think they got them down. But then when it comes time to actually do the audition or do the self tape, when they get up on their feet and they have the lights on, they suddenly go blank. It's like suddenly the lines are just gone for them and they don't know why. It's like, what? where did the lines go? And so I know what's happening there. It's due to this phenomenon, it's called state dependent learning. And so what this principle tells us is that when you are learning something new, the environment you learned it in, it becomes encoded to the memory of that thing. And so if you learned your lines in an environment that was super different from the environment that you're going to be performing in, you're going to have trouble recalling the lines when when you have to perform. You're going to you're going to start blanking. And so my advice there is to actually practice you know, recreate the circumstances of the audition, of the performance, make that environment similar enough so that it's not going to throw you when you actually get into that, that space. And so this is actually the, the reason why doing self tapes at home can actually be very advantageous because if you're doing self tapes at home, you have your own self tape setup, you can actually just practice your lines in that setup. You know, you can have your lights up, put your camera on the tripod, you know, have those things there and practice your lines there. So the environment is exactly the same. And so you're not going to have that problem. I actually had a, a coaching session with a student recently where she actually had a Zoom audition recently. And the way she practiced for that Zoom audition was wish she, she did a mock Zoom audition. So she actually, you know, put her computer up and had Zoom on and she had her boyfriend on his computer on Zoom and they did, you know, the scene together. She had her lights on and she was able to practice her eyeline and everything. And she said that was so helpful to her because when she got to the actual audition, she felt like she was a lot calmer. She was very calm. She knew what to do because it was like she had already done it before. I love that. And I bet her memorization was much better at, as well, right? Yeah, yeah. And she said she actually booked it. <laughs> that's that's awesome. And I, yeah. I love that with extending it to self-tapes because I hear so many actors, especially now, saying, I just want to be in the room. I want to be back in the room. But they forget that with self-tapes, once you have your setup, you actually have so much more power because you do control your environment. And I never thought about that as, as extending to your memorization as well. So that's 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 exciting, whether you're learning lines for a, a show, getting on your feet, really getting in your body or being in that self tape space or Zoom space or YouTube space as, as well. So I love that so much. Do you mind doing a real quick recap of those three tips again for us? Yeah, so those three tips again, don't always practice your lines top to bottom, take more frequent breaks, and also practice your lines in the same environment or circumstances as your audition or performance. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Joyce, for these actionable tips that my community can actually use tomorrow for their next self-tape audition. In fact, I wanna hear from you guys. Which was your favorite tip today? Tip number one, tip number two, or tip number three? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you connect with Joyce at Off Book It on Instagram, and I've also included her other information in the description below. Thank you so much for joining us today. Here are a few more videos that you might find interesting. Until next time, I will see you on social. Bye.